Hi, in this video I'll show you how to do a lookup to the left. So what I mean by that is basically when we're using a VLOOKUP, which is a lookup function in Excel where you can look up a value in a table, it starts by looking up, taking the lookup value from and goes from the left to the right. So basically, if I looked up a value here and I wanted another value here, let's say I, look, I wanted the 2014 uh, values here. This is basically population for each of the countries here. So I've put them in Korea over here and then it's going to look up and give me the 2014 values uh, for the population here 50 50 point uh, four three seven million people now traditional lookup it's going to look up if you're going to have a value here where you want to look up Korea it's going to look up in a table and go to from left to right and so you see this arrow goes from left to right and that's how generally lookup works it's going to look up for the key value here and it's going to bring back values uh, to the corresponding columns over to the right side. Now this this is column one, it's column two, three, four. And that's how normally VLOOKUP works. You can actually make a VLOOKUP look to the left. So for example, let's say we had our lookup uh, values here. We had a lookup, we want to look up Korea and we had our lookup values here. This is our key here. And we want to go from left, from right to left. And we want to look up KOR, which is Korea, and bring back that value here. Now this is kind of opposite of what a VLOOKUP will do, but you can actually kind of create a hack to have lookup go from left to right, and I'll show you how to do that. Now this is a tip I got from uh, Minda Tracy. Uh, has, she has a website called MyOnlineTradingHub.com. Pretty good website with a lot of Excel tips and tricks, so that's a good resource to go. So let's go ahead and see how we can do the lookup. And I'll just give an example of what a lookup would look like when you create it. So this is a VLOOKUP. And basically, you're using the VLOOKUP formula or function. You do VLOOKUP. I'm going to go ahead and tab to complete that. And the lookup value, I'm going to go ahead and select this. So this is the lookup value that I'm going to choose. And the table is going to be this table. So I'm going to select uh, this table. Actually, let me go ahead and pull this back up here so I can start at the beginning here. So this is going to take, I'm going to select the whole table, select that part. I'm going to do a little shortcut, keyboard shortcut, control, shift, down arrow. It'll select the rest of the table. And usually I like to press the F4 key to lock those cells in. You don't, you don't really need to do this in this, this example because I'm not copying this formula onto other cells. But if we were copying this formula onto another cell, it'd be a good idea to press the F4 key to put this into an absolute cell range. So basically what that means is we've got these dollar signs in front of the letters and numbers. And when you copy it down, uh, these values stay the same. They don't uh, change. Uh, you'll notice that when you do copy formulas down with cell ranges, if you didn't have the dollar signs in front of them, those values would change. So I'm going to keep that table array. Once I inserted that comma, it's going to take me into the next argument here, which is the column index. So I want to look at the third column here. So this is the first column, second column, third column. 2014 is the third column, so I'm going to type 3. And then I want to do an exact match. I want to do an exact match for Korea, K-O-R-E-A. So I'm going to choose uh, false here. Double click that, close parentheses, press enter, and you'll notice that it's the same as this value here. So if I change this to, let's say, let me go back up here. Let me go back up here. Let's change this to a nice short one, Angola. If I change that to Angola, you will notice also it is not case sensitive. So Angola, press enter. You notice that now it's 21444, which is right at 21444 since this is the third column. So that's how VLOOKUP works. But what is what if we had our column here where we want to look up the value and we want to bring back a value to the left of it? So the way VLOOKUP works, as I told you before, VLOOKUP looks and brings the values over to the right. If we want to do a VLOOKUP to the left, there's actually a hack that we can do. So basically, it's going to use the VLOOKUP function, and it's also going to use a function called choose. So I'm going to type VLOOKUP and press tab. And the lookup value is still going to be here. So I'm going to choose that as my lookup value. Now, when it looks for table array, this is where we're going to use the choose function. So the choose function, basically what it does, if you look at the arguments in the choose function, let me go ahead and uh, close parentheses, and you'll see that the arguments here, it's going to look for an index number, and then it's going to look for values. So basically the index number is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the, I think the maximum index number you can have is 255. And so when it look, and then you have your values here, value 1, value 2. So in the most basic sense, if you just had index number 1, and you had value, you only had two values to choose from, value 1, value 2, 
index number would correspond with value 1. So if you have index number 2, index number 2 would correspond with value 2. So that's basically what it's doing. But in this instance, I'm only if I only want to bring back one value, I'm going to have 1 and 2, and I'm going to put that in curly brackets. So here we're going to put index number 1 and 2, and we are enclosing it in curly brackets, and basically we're turning this into a, an array. And so what an array means is basically when you think about it, it's like another table within this particular function. So I'm going to go ahead and insert the values. So the values is actually going to be the range of columns here that are going to represent the first column, which is going to be 1. So basically, so we're going to select D10. I'm going to press Control Shift down arrow and select it all the way down to D98. And I'm going to have that as a absolute value. And the next second value I'm going to do is going to be from column C10 to C198. I'm going to control shift and then down arrow and I'll select that one. Press F4 to stick with absolute values there. I'm going to close in parentheses. And now that is my table array. Press the comma and the column index number. So basically what we do what we've done with this choose function is we turn it, this we kind of have a mini table in here with our array. So column one is going to represent this D10. So it's going to look at D10 here and it's going to say column two and it's going to pretend that column two is over to the right of it. And so column two is going to be C10 to C uh, oops this should be 198. Let me go ahead and go back 198. That should be this is, it's going to pretend that C2 is over here on the right. And so it's going to do that VLOOKUP. It's going to do what VLOOKUP is supposed to do, is basically uh, look, go bring back a value to the right. And basically what Choose is doing is kind of tricking it into doing that. And so once that we have our table array there, I'm going to go ahead and right arrow there. I'll go over here. I want to have bring back the second column. So this table is basically a two column table, but I want to bring back the second column. So that's what that two is doing with the column index number. And then I also want to do a, an exact match. So I'll go ahead and click that. Go ahead and press close the parentheses, press enter, and now we have the same value. Okay, now let's go ahead and type in a the country code here, the ISO country code. Let's try uh, Australia, AUS, -A AUS. -A and now we have 23.599 and it's figured out 23.599. So basically we've tricked VLOOKUP to go and bring back a value to the left of it. And so that's how you do it. That's using the VLOOKUP and the choose functions and trick it to go ahead and look up the value and bring back a value from the left of the lookup value. So a regular lookup, you're going to look up a value and bring back something over on the right of it this particular function, you're going to look up a value and bring back another value to the left of it. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.